My name is AJ Watson, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the director of Youth Guidance's Becoming a Man program. Physically, I'm doing pretty good. Had a good breakfast, good night's sleep. Intellectually, I am, my mind is racing with thoughts about how to make this conversation relevant and impactful. Emotionally, I'm filled with joy, I'm excited, and I'm also saddened of some news of young men uh, we lost in Chicago this weekend. And spiritually, I'm connected, certainly to my own faith, to all of you doing this work, and to young men of BAM back in Chicago. What I just did is checked in. And at the beginning of every single Becoming a Man circle happening across the city of Chicago, we ask our young men and our counselors to check in. And when we check in, our young men get a chance to understand what's going on for them. And when we check in with a caring adult who's been well-trained and is in schools full-time, meeting young men where they are, it has an impact. As, they, as we heard, we just released the results of our second randomized controlled trial. 50% reduction in violent crime arrests for young men participating in this program versus those who don't. Go ahead. And 35% reduction in all arrests. 19% more likely to graduate on time from high school than young men who have not participated in this program. And it is a cost-effective intervention that has ROIs just on violent crime arrests alone of more than $30 for every $1 invested. So as we're talking about what works, we know that this works. We know that putting a caring adult in front of our young men on a full-time basis in our schools, meeting them where they are, delivering an, an interdisciplinary approach using cognitive behavioral therapy, really positive youth engagement, and male men's rights of passage work has an impact because it's not too late. Adolescence is a critical time in our young people's lives. They are incredibly open, plastic, and trying to figure out what does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be a freshman? What does it mean to exist at this age and this time? And so that's what we do. We put guys like this who have that experience to work with our young men. They interact going through a curriculum based around a set of core values. Integrity, accountability, self-determination, positive anger expression, not management, expression because it's just energy like happiness is. Respect for womanhood, which is an incredibly important topic at this time in this country. And visionary goal setting. Not just what do you want to do, what does your goal look like, but what is it in your life that you're doing that's, as we call, tripping you up. And let's work on that piece too. It looks just like this. That's our founder, who's here today. Anthony Ramirez de Vittorio, sitting in a BAM circle, checking in with his young men. It looks like this. One of our counselors in the middle of the group, doing a group mission, helping the group bond and come together and develop that group cohesion that's so critical in adolescence. And it looks like this. One of our counselors sitting down one-on-one -on -one during the school day, where young men are, and giving them a resource that when they, something's going on in their life, they have someone they can go and talk to who they trust, who they feel safe with. Adolescents and schools are just the right time for an intervention like this. Because when we do that, we put young men back on track to graduating. We put young men back on track to a better hope, to a better future. And a lot of people believe this is the case, including our 44th president. And so we're honored today to be a part of this conversation. We'll be around this afternoon. You can learn more about it. And I think as Tim King said, we are changing the narrative. Thank you.